The underlying energy is the world. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's a completion of the cycle that's coming up here. This is talking about the... Well, the Three of Cups makes a lot more sense now because before it was like celebration and reuniting and hanging out with people that matter. And, you know, this is a completing of a cycle and a good completion of a cycle because this is Saturn rule. This is the gift that Saturn gives you when you do all the hard work that you necessarily need to do. It's also a phase, changing of a phase, ending of one phase, the beginning of a new. But you know, that's that little period where everything's golden, everything's great. You've seen, the, you know, that, you know, the happiness. All right. And it's possibly because you made a decision um, or, you know, you've taken the time to look at certain op options in front of you and gone ahead with it. You know, decided to go ahead and, you know, to do something with those, this, those seven of cups. Or maybe you guys have, you know, gotten out of a period of uncertainty and um, ready to begin this new cycle. All right. We already see we got Jupiter in here. So things are coming up. Things are looking up. This is great, Taurus. This is great. Loving it. All right, y'all. Let me just adjust this all. Okay. So your current state of being is the Eight of Cups. So, all right. So we see what you did here. The Seven of Cups was talking about looking at the options that were presented to you and seeing if there was any of those resonated. But at the same time, everything was kind of hard to, not hard to see, but it was a little bit uncertain, kind of confusing. There was a lot of options. So things were kind of left up in the air. Okay, um, but now I feel like you guys have definitely not chosen what you guys wanted. None of this, none of it. And you guys are deciding to go off and find what it is that truly makes you happy. Okay, because the Eight of Cups is not a sad energy. It's not depressed or anything. It's more of empowering and encouraging because you find that, you know, the will within yourself and utilizing your intuition, the connection that you have with the high priest, the high priestess, the high, higher self to actually get what it is that you want. Do you really find that ninth cup to really manifest what it is that you want because what your outcome is showing here is literally the corresponding card after this so i love it loving it taurus go ahead and you know find what it is that you want find it is what makes you happy what you want guys is a new beginning something that's towards stability support and security something that is a that can potentially get you there, right? You want to start something new that is actually going to build to something, you know, to really get you somewhere. And I feel like, honestly, this is actually one of those great cards, especially with the moon, with the world coming up in your underlying energy, rather. Yeah, it makes sense that you want a new beginning, start something fresh, and at least some place that really is some something that you can commit to, an offer of some sort that is concrete or... You know, it can at least, you know, something that you could commit to and something that your partner can commit to. But the thing that's potentially standing in your way from getting the Ace of Pentacles is the Seven of Wands. Okay. So there's a little bit of defensiveness coming up, a little bit of defensive energy, standing your ground. It could be that there's some, there's some things that may need to be more, you know, firmly um, stood against. Like there could be some boundaries that need to be placed up. Um, there could be a situation with an individual that's very defensive, right? You could be dealing with somebody that's super defensive right now. And this, that could be really hard to deal with, especially if somebody's like hardcore defensive. But I feel like this energy is coming up as super defensive, um, especially standing the ground and or needs or there's certain there's something that needs to be, um, you know, reinforced is because of this Ten of Wands. In the past, there was some sort of burdenous energy that was coming up. All right, the labyrinth energy. There was a situation where there was the completion of a cycle, but it was still a burden. There was still a lot on someone's plate. There was a lot of bologna and cheese being dealt with here. Okay, and I feel like with that kind of energy coming up, yeah, it was going to make somebody feel defensive. It's going to make somebody feel super defensive, or or and they may be kind of hard for them to really think about going somewhere or doing something new if they still have this hanging over there. You know lingering around, right? They still have this burdenous energy lingering around. And it may not necessarily be any sort of burdenous energy currently, but there's still like that phantom feeling of, oh my goodness, that was a lot on my plate. I don't know if I want to do that. There's a lot of work. There's a lot to deal with at this page. The, the, the eight of, sorry, ten of wands coming up. So the seven of wands could be something super defensive right here. Or that there may be, there's, a def there's some boundaries that's needed because of how things got out of hand before. 
or maybe things you know there's a lot of baloney and cheese to deal with it because there was nothing really there's no boundaries being put up so maybe there's some there's there's a new set of boundaries that needs to be coming up here the situation is happening again though this is a situation where it's starting anew starting fresh second time around new beginnings this is jupiter here okay this is a he's the he's the god of good luck all right so <clears throat> he's the planet of good luck <clears throat> And fortune and everything so this is this is the second time around where right? you guys have an opportunity to tackle the situation again all right tackle the situation you know head first right really go into this with you know with the knowledge that you gained from the last cycle which is totally excellent absolutely wonderful and I feel like it's time to utilize what you've learned from the last cycle from this ten of wands to get better you know to increase your chances of, of you know potential happiness with that ace of Pentacles in your goal because right now you're looking for it. You're looking for it. You're, you're going down the path of, you know, finding your own way of happiness, finding your own path instead of settling with whatever was present, presented to you in the past. Okay, with the seven of cups. In your feelings, you have the queen of pentacles. So you could be feeling the other partner very much. You could feel that they're committed, or you're committed to them. You're committed to making it work. But most importantly, you guys are in this phase of hard worker. Okay, you are working hard to make sure that you guys are getting to a place where you guys want to be. And this is not an easy energy to go through in the sense of, you know, just kind of like, I'm going to find what it is that I want. Yeah, it's going to take some time to really look at it, right? It's going to really, you're going to have to dive deep. It's not sad, it's not depressing or anything like that, but you're going to have to dive in deep. And the Queen of Pentacles, she's down to earth, she's stable in herself. So there may be some things that you may want to look forward to. Maybe you guys want to honestly lead, you want to have a relationship that ends up um, getting you to a phase where you can have kids because she's a family woman, right? Queen of Pentacles. This could be, you know, men too, guys. It doesn't have to necessarily be fe be a female. So this Queen of Pentacles could be like, it's you guys feeling more stable, feeling committed to the relationship, more committed than you've ever been. You could be feeling the other partner right now, feeling their commitment. You're feeling solid. All right, this is really solid energy. I like this, um, especially with Uranus in your sign right now, Taurus. This is a really good card to get, considering you know what's going on in your sign now. Your hopes and fears. I feel like you guys want to, ooh, excuse me. I feel like you guys want to, I, I think you guys want to move up in a relationship, move up in your, in your status of relationships currently. Like where you guys are now is great and dandy, but I feel like you want to celebrate where you, how far you've come. You want to feel the joy of where you guys are. And most importantly, you guys want to, you know, f you know, feel good in your relationship. Uh, before making the necessary steps to keep moving forward, to keep building on so, something that's awesome between you and your partner. The outcome showing great cards here, guys. Nine of nine of cups. This is your wish card, right? This is the card that I was telling y'all walking towards, walking looking for, right? So I feel like in the future you will be able to be content, you will be happy with where you are because well, and the outcome is showing that you will find a contentment based off of the work that you're putting in. But it's going to require you to release this some this energy, this energy that's that's carrying the burden, right? This seven of wands, this defensive energy that's attached to this burden energy, and it's and I feel like it's because of all the hard work that you put in the past to get to this eight of pentacles, right? Releasing this burden is the hard part of the ten of ten of wands, right? Because you got you've put a lot of work and effort into it, got a lot of history with those eight of wands, a lot of blowing and cheese went into that, right? So. Well, there's a lot of baloney cheese that you're dealing with in order to get to this. But the point of it all is, this is the second time around. You got you you can utilize the the perspective that you've gained from the cycle beforehand. However, it's the defensive energy here. It may be that you may need to put up more boundaries and you need to protect yourself a little bit more. This Queen of Pentacles, she is independent. She doesn't need anybody to make her legacy. But it's a blessing to have you, you know, Taurus. Like it's a, it's wonderful for other people to be able to be a part of your journey with you because you are independent. And you can handle everything pretty much yourself. But the thing here is, maybe there's new boundaries that need to be put up. Maybe there's a new situation that you need to stand your ground of, so that way this can be kind of put to rest with this Ten of Wands. All right, pretty clear reading. All right, I love it. Very clear, very on top of things. I love it. Let me go ahead and pull your Romance Angels. All right, see what's going on with this. The romance Angels.
Okay. Wedding. Oh my goodness. This relationship involves marriage. Wow. I was just telling you, you feel committed to your partner, your partner is committed to you. You got to say four of wands. So you want to ascend to a higher place of commitment here. You want it. And most importantly, I feel like you want to also enjoy how far you've come because the world is in your underlying energy. You enjoy what you have when the world comes up. You don't really just, you're like, okay, so I want to get to here next. I mean, sometimes people do, right? You're like, okay, I got to this ending of a cycle here. Let's move on. Let's go into the next chapter. But some of you guys could be just wanting to really celebrate where you guys have been. Really just kind of be in the moment this relationship um, involves marriage the ace of pentacles for some of you guys the ace of pentacles could be that you guys want marriage but you're not necessarily satisfied with how the situation is currently before you can actually contemplate that so i do see that there is a high sense of commitment for some of you guys if you're not really looking to get married right now this could really just be talking about you guys um you know wanting to be in a you know wanting to be you know in a relationship that shows you know serious commitment all right promise rings initially right wow building blocks is coming out <laughs> building blocks this is talking about you know this is pretty much the eight of pentacles putting in the hard work doing the best that you can to make the future that you want right and and that's going to require work it's going to require you to you know put in some elbow grease right but also allowing you know that give and take that balance that's necessary to make the relationship work you got amazing cards in this reading Taurus, all right. I think this is one of the best readings that I've read so far today, or this week, honestly. And with you know, with building blocks coming up, yeah, you're gonna work on it. You're gonna work on it. You're gonna be working hard. You're gonna. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, but this because it's just your second time around. And I think you know that. It's you're ready more than anything. The page is Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's defensive energy. The thing that's keeping you from the Ace of Pentacles. But be careful what you're defensive of, and that's keep potentially holding you back from some, starting something new. But Ultimately, ultimately, you've got some stuff happening. It's happening anyway. It's just all about where your head is at and and the love that you show in the relationship, okay? Because everything's not gonna be perfect all the time, as y'all know. With that it, the wheel of fortune coming up. For those of you getting back with the to go with your ex or somebody restarting something, rekindling some sort of flame or some sort of fire, build rebuilding the, the um the foundation of a relationship that's currently existing. For those of you out there, right? You know whatever. This whole thing is built on love, trust, determination, and focus. As long as you love each other and focus on where you guys, you know, indi you know individual selves are, being independent, being standing your own ground, you're all solid because that's building a, a wonderful foundation. As long as you love know, getting to know each other and learning each other as you're growing together. Wow, what a beautiful reading, guys.